Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for the 1st of April. So um, with the S&P 500, everything's going pretty much according to uh, plan uh, here. Now we're looking at this uh, top area up up here after we've got wave four here we're looking for one and two and three and four and five up here for five of five of three or one here so um, this wave three here in the bigger picture would look like this we've been looking at it um, all last week uh, in terms of one and two here one two three four five here for the third wave fourth wave and fifth wave we do need to be mindful because the other count that um, that I have on the on this count here my uh, original count has got this as one and two here and three and four here and five here so there will be a problem once we finish this five waves here but um, the normal thing that we would sort of see here would be that uh, a classic trading levels pattern across uh, across the 4000 here which obviously uh, looks like this if you're used to it now. So if this is the 4,000 here, we'll be looking for the, well, we've got the arrival, we've got the reaction, and we're coming up, we're just coming back up to this, to the 4,000 here. So we expect this five wave structure in this leg here. And then we just have to, we can go short or we can do whatever we need to do in this leg here. But what what we need to do is, is we need to recognize it um, either as a corrective uh, pattern or an impulsive pattern. Now it won't be easy because there will be five waves in this leg, three in this and five in this. So that could be part of an impulse wave, a bigger impulse wave to the downside, or it could be corrective. Um, what we can do though, is we can have a look across the uh, stock market and have a look at stocks and other indices and other markets and get some sort of idea of um, you know what it would be. Um, I, I, I'm thinking it uh, would be uh, corrective, um, but we need to um, we need to kind of cement that in. Um, but our focus is really still on this for the time being, but we do need to start thinking about this a little bit more at this stage. Um, obviously, if it's corrective, it can pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree down here uh, and then start to make uh, support over here for this. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's just the, the, the shell of the of, of the picture um, so that would play out as um, well once we get this once we get this uh, high over here somewhere these five waves uh, here would be looking for a decent correction uh, in this space here for this so that's what we've got to uh, figure out with all of that uh, that said let's just go into the uh, intraday <coughs> and all pretty sort of simple I'm just going to put these in the background here. We can have it up as an ABC pattern, but that wouldn't really fit with um, with the NASDAQ uh, at this stage. So I'm just going to blank that out somewhat, put it in the background a bit. Um, yeah, so in a nutshell, we've got wave one here and two here, and then we've got wave one here and two here. So this will be the third of the third wave here. So we should see this move quite quickly. Uh, here. So once this market here, you can see it, it doesn't have support on the 4,000 yet, and it might just squiggle around a little bit and all the rest of it. It may, I mean, I've done that in a pretty complicated way, but it might be quite sort of simple because it's not like we're in a fourth wave here. We're in the, we're in the third of the third here. So it could just burn through there quite quickly, but it's just good to, you know, to understand that it, that it can take time here. Um, but I'm just going to remove that uh, now. So yeah, wave one and two here and wave three, four and five uh, to come into play. We'd expect wave three here to be longer than wave one. But as always with all of this, we just need to go step by step and wave by wave and uh, we've been counting five waves up into this structure here. So yeah, uh, in fact, there's a couple of different counts I can get in here. It's just, it's a little bit, a little bit scraggly in here. It's not the most beautiful wave structure. So just on the hourly chart uh, here for this. So wave one here and two here, we can open this up a little bit in here. I don't think I really need to go to the tick chart today, even though I've got that counted a bit different. Um, 
so we do have long trades in the market uh, here for this and on the tick chart would probably have a couple of more trades in in here as well for this um, until this becomes the support here it's probably a good idea to leave the stop out of the way here because let's just say that I mean this can be counted in different ways here but let's just look at it like this here for the moment from wave four here is wave one and two in there somewhere wave three here wave four and wave five so we should see something um, should be seeing something like this here and then then an A and a B and a C wave here for this and then a move up. Now it may not pull all the way back down but we should just peg that in there. I'll just take it to the 4000 and you can make the adjustments which is where the um, where this 61.8 percent is so it may or may not pull back there but um, if we're going to um, you know we're just building a few positions in the first wave here but it's the third wave here that we really want to play out here um, for this so <clears throat> so Thursday might play out as a as a bear day and then Friday Monday is the the bullish day it may only come down to you know roughly where this um, support is here for this <clears throat> at the uh, 3950 so yeah the levels between 39 and for uh, 4,100 points, we've got uh, 10, 20, and 30, 50, and 80, plus we've got group two in there as well. So just the Fibonacci sequence of one, two, three, five, and eight, um, and five being the second strongest number, which is playing out really nicely. Um, so yeah, look, that's kind of it. I don't think that, I mean, the tick chart is, I'll have a look at it, but it's, I've got it counted slightly differently, as you know, from yesterday. I'll just have a quick look. So it's got a slightly different count where we've already got wave one and two in play here for this. Um, it's probably not the case, um, but it's okay to have sort of, I mean, it's all in the same sort of direction. It just doesn't, it means that it won't pull back down uh, as, as far as, uh, as such, but uh, we can get a better view of what's going on in here for this. So we might end up seeing there's two structures in, in here little bit dodgy I have to say but um, yeah so we may just get something like this here before we um, before we have a, a correction uh, down at this stage but um, yeah now we've got these positions here and we've had two stops so we've brought this stop up here really tight to protect these ones or we can take the other view and just keep everything out of the way here on the hourly chart for for the stop just keeping it well out of the way below the 61.8 percent because we really want to be on this side here and you know obviously if it pulls back down here it kind of renders these positions a little bit useless but if it just comes down to to here then it makes them valuable at that point you know uh, we also want to while we're here as well let's just think ahead a little bit <clears throat> so this is for um 4100 so I'm just going to just just going to make that a bit a bit more dominant there for the for the moment and then we want to have a look in here of our levels so we've got 10 20 and 30 that make up group one now if we get support on 30 then you know that we're leaving 4000 at that point and then we've got the 50 here and the 80 here. But with the 80, we've got the 65, 72 and 80 that make up. Group two. So once the market reacts from here, comes back down, right? And then finds support back up on the 4,000. That's where you want to be scaling into. So what we can do is we can move this one over here. You could put it. Uh, there but let's just put it on the 4,000 really what what we want to do here is actually we want to try and build in uh, three positions uh, here for this at least getting support on the 430 is really what we're looking for if let's just say that the market um, does us a favor and we get a we get this move up here and then we have a nice little ABC back down to here then you can also cut through here as well to get a position at that point that would be reasonably safe at that point. And I feel that we're safe overall, like it's not like we don't know what's going on. 
um, because we've got the impulse wave here and we've got a corrective wave here and we're getting the first impulse wave here, this is too short to be a top at the end of the market, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? So it's, there's a pretty high confident level that we've got further to, to, to move up, up up here for this. So this is the area in one way or another that you want to be scaling in, you want to be building your position into, even though we've got a little, we've got a few over there for that. <coughs> okay, <coughs> I'll leave that out of the way. Um, this is the Russell. Now there's some things I'd, do know and don't know uh, here. So I'm not quite sure about about this little bump here. I think it's probably wave one uh, and back for wave two, but it comes very close down through here for this. So I still got to work this out a little bit. But as I've kept on saying with this um, over the days is that we need to uh, buy these new highs here. So on that high there, we should be triggered in at this point. So we can also just copy that now and we'll just leave that under this low for the time being here for this. I'll just manage this on the daily chart using the robo method or something of that nature. Um, so, uh, yeah, even though I'm unsure about all of this here, if you trade this market, this is the place to this. I mean, we could have done better, of course, but um, I don't I'm not going to focus on the intraday too much with this market. It's just um, it has been beneficial uh, to, to us in terms of understanding that we can label this as wave one and two and three here. It makes sense, you know, um, and then wave four here and then uh, wave five uh, here for for um, uh, for that. OK, and the Nasdaq from this point. So on the four hour chart here for the Nasdaq, uh, looking at wave three here with an ABC for wave four here and then up for wave one here, ABC for two here. We understand that uh, it's trading much lower than the S&P 500, which is, you know, up at the old high here and above and all the rest of it. So um, it's lagging a little bit. So it's, all, it's almost sort of lagging with the um, with the rustle in a, in a way. But look, we've hung in there. And because we counted this down as corrective, so that means we need to be taking this high out here at some point, we could get an, a reasonable five wave structure out of here, enough to have a fair bit of confidence in it, and then an ABC pattern for this. The It's taken a long time for this little wave one to uh, emerge, um, and it's a little bit sort of, uh, uh, you know, looks like a bit, it, it, the, the, the structure's there, it just looks like it's got a bit of a hangover or something, but... Um, yeah, uh, it's now it's pushing up through here. So everything is going like according to plan. It's, it's it just took a long time for this while the S and P was doing its thing. All those big tech stocks of, uh, you know, they've been dragging through the courts and you know their their valuation is is uh, <clears throat> uh, you know people have been pulling out of them and so on. Um, but I think they've got their timing wrong on that. I think those big banks that have pulled out of. Uh, uh, some of these tech stocks have got it wrong, but um, we'll see. Um, but as far as I can see so far, we should just be, we should push up quite strongly here now because we're in the third of the third here and also the third here. So we should push, you know, we are starting to see it, you know, move quite nicely uh, through here. So that should just continue. And we're looking for five waves to the upside here. So how far will it go? I'm not quite sure. We just um, we just uh, go step by step, <clears throat> but we should be making a new high above here for this. So um, yeah, I mean wave three should be longer than wave one. Uh, so we can look at the extensions and everything. But normally wave three and four can play out around the old high here, and that sort of helps to give it its wave four in a way. So that's all pretty much about right. Will it get to 15,000? I don't know, um, but we'll just see how it goes. It would like to, I would imagine, um, but we'll see. <clears throat> um, I'll just go to the hourly chart because we need to talk about trades. So we've got, um, we've had this trade in here. I've brought the stop up under this low here. Once the 13,000 becomes the support, then we can bring the stop up further. Or if we get support on top of 13,300, then we can also bring the support in there as well. We were looking to go long above this high here, so that's good. We also want to scale in here as well on top of 
Uh, one, we also want to build, if you've got the intestinal fortitude and you can uh, accommodate the risk in some way or another. Uh, this is, I mean, if you're going to make money, this is where it's at here. We're in the third wave here. So that's why I wanted to build in these positions. We've got a sneaky one in here. Uh, we managed that okay. And we've got this one now. And, uh, and well, we've got time to get this one and this one and this one because we want to get support on top of 13,300. Right. We could also add on top of 500 if we wanted to as well, but we want to manage the risk. We want because once that gets support on three, if it gets, <clears throat> I could bring it a lot closer, the stop. Uh, first of all, I could bring it to here if that's any uh, help to anybody. That's pretty safe. I could get it much closer in here, but I just don't want some sort of spike to take us out, you know, which can happen in the futures market. So I just want to be a little bit careful about that. But this is, uh, trends have got a beginning, a middle and an end. And when we look at this here, we've got, you know, this is the beginning of the trend here. Uh, that we're entering into the, up into the middle of it here. So the, between wave two and wave three here, that's going to be right in the middle of it. <clears throat> this is where people recognise that the market's going to be heading up higher at this point. You know, it becomes obvious uh, to some. And um, yeah, so... Um, so yeah, we can just, uh, we'll just see how this extends in, in through here. And we'll probably add on five as well. Um, yeah, we're okay for that. We'll probably, we'll probably hang in through wave four as well. We might take some profit at, the, at this wave three top here and we'll work that back in at that particular point. We, we won't be adding in around the 800 here because because trends have got to, if we look at the, the trend from wave two here to wave three here, it's got a beginning, a middle and an end. So this is the beginning here and we're entering into the, you know, the still the beginning of the third wave, but sort of we're entering into the middle here now where, where, where we expect to see strength. And then we've got the end of the structure here. So we don't want to be adding at the end of the structure. We don't want that FOMO sort of stuff happening here. Uh, Anyway, enough waffling, sorry about that. Um, stocks. Okay, so um, Amazon uh, here, uh, I'm looking at it as wave three with an A and a B and a C, as you know here. And then I'm looking for this to be wave one. Uh, we could probably put wave one in here really and wave two here. What I am concerned here is that we can have five waves up here and then pull back down for another move here to the upside. I don't think it's the case but um, it's possible and I've talked about it a lot and that would be in line with a couple of other companies but <clears throat> I'm just keeping it in the background and in fact I'm going to uh, diminish that there and uh, yeah so once again uh, this can push up uh, through here but this is the problem area here at the 61.8% at the but I think that we should move through that and I've labelled this here as one and two, which would be the obvious thing to do. Well, in fact, we could probably put that over here, in fact, and this one over here, and then that would be quite suitable at that point. <clears throat> but when we go to the tick chart, you'll notice that I've got it looking as a um, as a corrective pattern because I didn't want to get folks too excited about about this. But we have we are in this on the long side. I do have a little wave one here, but the A and the B and the C wave here. So this is where it can uh, fail. We could get one, two, three. We can get one, two, three here, four, five, and we could be finishing just here for this. We could go up here and finish. So we've got one position already up here, which we held on to because we just kept the stop above. We've also moved in here as well, and we're also moving in we don't need that there, but that's where it could fail as well. But I don't think that's the case. So I'm going to move that. Um, and also, we've got this position coming in through here as well. So that's where we are at the moment. I suppose we should just, um, now that we've got a thing here, we should just <clears throat> work the stop.
You can put the stop there, but I'm just going to leave it out of the way for a second, okay? Just for a couple of sessions. I just want to see, I just want to make sure we're not going to get one, two, three, four, and five up here, right? And then come back down as a 61.8% as a retracement level here and take our stop out. So I'll just keep it here. Um, but if you're concerned, you can move it up under the, under the low here. It should be pretty safe there. Okay, so that's Amazon. Alphabet here, just on, this is a daily chart. <coughs> so I was thinking that, I mean, I haven't pulled this apart here, but I can kind of see that in one way or another, we've got some sort of A, B and C coming down here in the, in this regard. So we should be, we should be on our way at this point. We've got this position in here. We've taken part profits uh, here on the level here. Uh, roughly and uh, we got triggered in up here and, and we kept the stop out of the way uh, here and uh, yeah so we should be uh, pushing up uh, into the between 2.2 and 2.3 here for that we'll we'll look at the intraday on this as it starts to build no need to do that just yet <clears throat> and Apple um, so we're looking at wave B here so an A wave a B wave and a C wave here this is this is the sort of thing that bothers me with the NASDAQ and some, um, and maybe Tesla, is that we can have this move down through here for this. So that's a little bit of a concern. Um, but all the same, let's go in and have a little look at it. <clears throat> As I keep saying, this move here is pretty much in an ABC pattern. You could move the wave five over here as well, but because that's kind of in three there, it doesn't pan out very nicely. So I'll leave it like that. Um, yeah, the A wave, the B wave and the C wave here, this confused me a little bit in, in here, but we, we, we talked about going long here above the 121. So that's okay at this point. Um, I think there can be one more little move up here before we have an ABC pattern here. I need to pull this apart a little bit further. Obviously we've got the one and two in here. Probably the, yeah, I just got to figure this, I've got to have a closer look at in this in here. But um, what I always do is if I'm just in a hurry and I, and I haven't got time to work things out, I just take the top here, the, the bottom and the top, see where the 61.8% is, then look for the closest largest number um, so I'd have to go to the 120. So that means we need to leave the stop at, um, at 1611, uh, well, in between 19 and 20s. Okay, so we can leave it. We'd have to leave it under there. We can move it up a bit. Not much though. <clears throat> we can just move it to there. So we should be ending up, you know, for this market, we should be ending up around this old high over here for this. So somewhere in this space. We should be looking for five waves up. So yeah, we're doing all the right things. So we'll just, uh, just continue. That may even be the top there, you know, I'm not quite sure, but not that it matters too much at this point. And square, we've been looking at this as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave uh, here for this. So we'll just have a look at the tick chart. I mean, a lot of other stocks will be like this as well. So So we're counting five waves down uh, through here uh, and yesterday and we're looking for, um, well, we had that little move up here, so we decided to go along there. I just want to clean these up while I'm here. So that's all played out reasonably well. And in this case here, we can look at this as wave one and two and three and four. So we could look at this as five going up through here somewhere and then then an ABC pattern coming back here. Will it cover the gap down here? I'm not quite sure. It doesn't need to really in because this is a third of a third and you'd sort of expect that to, to play out like that. Um, we could move the stop up a little bit just to reduce the 
risk and portfolio risk overall. Uh, I mean, the, the idea to with trading is, well, I don't know, everybody's got their own little method. Um, I do like Ryan Jones' uh, money management techniques with, with contracts and, and so on. That's quite a good um, thing. But basically, if, I, if I'm trading stock, I just really like to risk um, well... Um, if you've got an account under 50,000, well, then risking 1%, and if you're uh, 50 to 100, roughly, then half a percent. Uh, but the basic idea is that um, if your exposure is, is, well, your exposure would be here at that point if it's gapped open. Uh, so the idea, the first thing you need to do at, at the right technical point is to, if you've got 1% risk, is the first thing to focus on is getting that half a risk, half a percent and then that's half of your risk. And it's quite interesting because when you get a, you get quite a few trades going on um, and, and you've, you've moved your stop half a percent to, to half your risk, then it's like, you know, it takes like two losing trades to, to get that 1%. So it makes a big difference, you know, uh, overall, especially when you start adding up, you know, 50, 100, 300 trades and so on. Uh, anyway, that's all. Everything's sort of firing up okay. Uh, Tesla's now uh, pushing up quite nicely as well. So um, there is a good case. I mean, I've got this as the A wave, the B wave and the C wave. There is a good case for um, uh, for um, <clears throat> uh, for this to be uh, wave four over here as well, for this sitting over here with wave one here and two here for this and moving up from that point. So that's that's uh, that's all possible as well. So on, based on based on that, um, we've been looking at going long here, I think, as well. Yeah. So let me just bring this in here a bit further. <clears throat> Not such a great case for having <clears throat> five waves up here for this, unless we got this as a truncated fifth wave. So I don't know, a little bit little bit dodgy on that in on that front but um look I'm a hopeful sort of character so we'll just see we'll just keep following and see how it plays out <clears throat> see what the rest of the market looks like but we've done all the right things here we mean we've been building in here we could look at this as one and two and probably one two and one two three four. we'll have to put that up here for another little move up here for this I think so that would be one two and one two three so probably up here somewhere to the 680 back here somewhere like that and then somewhere up here like that we can move in this case move the stop up we'll just leave it we're not going to add any more to this we've done we've done it in this is all the group one here 10 20 and 30 so we've done our one two three here so we've done all of that we've built into here as a thing we could do that because we had enough built-in profit there i'll just this looks all pretty good here so i'll just bring that down to here for the time being <clears throat> i mean if it's corrective then this length here and I will just take it to there. It should have some sort of equality with this one here. So maybe the 750, but obviously the 700 is going to, to play out there. What we could also do as well is just bring in a bit more here. Okay, so it's right on the 900 up there. So that's all good. That means just take it from the 900 down to here. Yeah, so that will take us, that's the length of wave A here and this length here and the 61.8% there. That would be a nice target for us to, uh, well, to take profit at the 750 here. Maybe don't need to take all the profit. We'd, we'll just have a look at the, um, the wave structure once we get there, you know what I mean? To see if there's any, any, fur, if there's any more legs in this. So what, what I'll do at this point is I'll just put the percentage point there so we can take, with the view of taking something there, we might need to take it all there. Like if we get a perfect five-wave structure to that point, then I guess we need to take profit at that point. Um, 
Okay, so. Okay, and that's just a different market. That's something else. Um, so that's it. So thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, it's just nice to see the uh, market pushing up now so we can make a little bit of pocket money. Okay, thank you. Cheers.